Okay, so I actually had some camera issues. It was cold the day when I did this. So we're back at the pump here at the tank and we ended up doing a different thing here. So I got everything mounted, everything worked. Um, but the first problem I had was what we talked about. I started getting a whole bunch of debris stuck to the pump. I had to take it out like three or four times and actually clean inside the pump and the fins and stuff. So um, you can see the water's fairly murky um, and it's running good now. Um, this is the warmest day we've had probably since Christmas. It's been a week and a half or so and we've had, we haven't come above freezing. But today, right now, it's almost 40 degrees out here. So kind of balmy, but that's why most of the ice is gone. So what did I, what I ended up doing, I'm going to go around to inside the field. So I actually need to fix this, but what I ended up doing, um, I need some hardware cloth uh, to put around the pump and act kind of as a screen. Some like maybe eighth inch square hardware cloth, um, hardware fabric, or it's wire mesh basically. So what I ended up doing was taking this, uh, what do they call it, painter's sieve, or I don't know what it's called, but it's basically this fine mesh, like plastic fabric, um, and it's working okay. Um, I have these sticks shoved down in there to keep the fabric off the pump, um, but I wanted to take this out so I can get some of the junk off the filter, but part of the problem was, you can kind of see there's a big ice chunk on there. I had a, uh, after I first put the pump in there, I couldn't get it out again because the fabric basically welded itself, it froze to the side of the tank, so um, this is the first time I've actually been able to take it out since I put it in there, but you can see all that junk stuck to the side of it, um, I'll probably have to hose it off or something. I need to get some wire mesh fabric and put around that pump and that should that should keep the big stuff out of it, keep it from getting clogged. Um, and then on this side, I basically just pumped a, or pop, popped a hole in there and put a rubber band around it so it wouldn't fall off. Because um, I, when I just put the sack over the entrance, it, the exhaust, uh, it was just swirling around kind of inside the sack and wasn't actually doing anything. So, um, But anyway, that's what I ended up doing. So I just need to clean this off, put it back in, and then uh, maybe I'll do another update once I get the hardware fabric on it. But I've still got some ice here wrapped around the wire and around the fabric, so uh, I'm going to try to get that out. But anyway, that's kind of how that went. And it, uh, The only other problem I had is that it circulates the water, but when it's down to like zero degrees, it still wasn't keeping the water unfrozen, I think. But what I need to do maybe is get a little tube and bend it up so that the top of the, the surface of the water stays turbulent and then maybe that'll prevent it, at least the spot from freezing so the cows can still get to it. Um, again, this was an idea to um, prevent us having to use a tank heater, which uses a lot more electricity. Anyway, that's an update on this. Uh, once I get some fabric, some uh, hardware fabric, the wire mesh, um, I'll, I'll do another update. So, all right, thanks. So a quick update on the uh, de-icer, and it's working pretty good. I had some issues with the first pump I put in there. Uh, there was a problem with the wiring. So under one of those heat shrinks that I showed you before, um, the wires are shorting out. And what it was from was I, I got this stuff called liquid electrical tape and I wanted to try it out and I probably shouldn't have tried it underneath a heat shrink but um, either the heat affected it when I shrunk the heat shrink down because with that um, that uh, waterproof heat shrink it has a gel that you got to make sure to get hot enough so it might have overheated that electrical uh, liquid electrical tape um, but it's supposed to be that liquid electrical tape is pro supposed to be weatherproof um, so anyway, I switched it out with the other pump and it's been working good. Uh, one of the things that I did, um, it wasn't working. I was still getting ice on the top, but I added that hose. I don't know if you can see it there. Um, and I kind of, it kind of directs the, the water up. So it makes more of a surface 
disruption. Um, the other one was just kind of swirling the water around in a whirlpool and it was still freezing over. Of course we were down in the single digits close to zero on a couple of those days. Um, but so far this morning it was 19 and we just have, you can kind of see a little bit of ice floating there. So there was a little bit of ice around the edges, um, but it's working pretty good. Um, and I still have to get the hardware fabric or screen to go around the pump. I'm still using that painter's cloth as a filter, um, but you can see it kind of filters out the water so it's nice and clear. Um, so I still have to do that right now. I've got that stick sh shoved down in the bag to keep it off the pump. Um, but we'll we'll do another uh, visit of this installation once I get the screen on there. We're back for an update on the tank de-icer, or the trough de-icer. Here's what I've been running. So I've got my little pump in there, and it's inside this painter's sack or filter or whatever you call it. And you can see all the gunk on the outside of it. And the biggest problem is that when it gets all clogged up around the pump, which most of it's fallen off, uh, it's it the bag squishes up against the pump, which is why I have that stick in there, kind of holds it away, and then it clogs the pump. So. I have this aluminum screen. I couldn't find any hardware fabric that was eighth inch. Um, so this should work. So we'll go, go ahead and modify this. And instead of using that painter's fabric, we'll use this screen and we'll uh, attach it on there and see how that works. But otherwise it's been working great. So here's the finished product. I've got the screen all around. I added another plate on the top and I uh, just wrapped it around the plate on the bottom. Just like a Christmas present. And then I uh, screwed a plate onto the back to hold the edges. Popped a hole for the hose to go through. So we'll take this out there. I might have been able to get away without adding this top plate. Um, but what typically happens is there's ice on the top in some of the areas and I didn't want there to be. I mean this screen is pretty flimsy so I don't want the ice to start hanging off the edges of it without any support. So, Alright, we'll give that a try. Okay, so we've got it all hooked back up. Got a cow here sitting watching. And uh, the water's flowing. We're making a ripple. And uh, one other thing I wanted to mention is that I did get this. That's the little thermo cube that I was telling you about. Um, that shuts off when the weather gets above 35, when the temperature gets above 35. And you can see I've got it all wrapped up in electrical tape. And I had to cut one side of it off, so I took the case apart to make sure I wasn't damaging any components. And it just has a couple of bus bars that go through it, so I just cut those off and put the case back together and taped it back up so uh, that works fits in my box and uh, it works it it turns the pump off at above 35 and on at below 35 so we'll see how this does filter wise and hopefully it keeps the pump clean and uh, allows the pump to breathe enough to get enough water in to keep the water moving all right, it's the next morning, and that screen seems to be doing real well. The water looks all clear. It's all of the uh, particles are down at the bottom swirling around. And we've got our disrupting, disruption to keep the water from freezing. My lips are frozen, I can't talk. But it was about 20 this morning, so. In all theoretical knowledge, this should be frozen, but it's not. So it's doing its job. Success! And so we've got one other one for next year when we have more cows, so. So 18 degrees this morning, and this is exactly what we want. Although it didn't keep the whole tank thought out, it kept a little hole open here where the water's moving which allows the cows to get in and get a drink. So 
So far, working perfectly. <laughs>